Hi, my name is Castius. Welcome to the Imperium Client Setup Tutorial video. I'm going to try and keep this as short and simple as possible. There's really only a few steps you need to do to get up and running and playing the game as quick as possible. Uh, the first step is to head on over to eqemulator.org. I'll leave a link in the description of the video. Uh, and you need to register a form account, which is done right here on the register now. After that, you need to log in to your, your newly created account. Uh, and then you'll need to create a login server account. This is the actual account, then a name and password that you will use to actually log into servers and begin playing on them. Uh, you can set up multiple uh, login server accounts under this one forum account. So you can have all your boxes and alts and all that managed under one account. Keeps it simple, keeps it secret, keeps it safe. Uh, the verification email for the actual create login server accounts can take a little while to come. Uh, I've heard it ta uh, some people it's taken a day or two to actually arrive, but you have to click that link in there to, uh, you know, verify your account. But once that's done, you are all ready to go uh, on that end. So head on over to uh, imperiumeq.com which you'll find here, and then head over to the install page. From here, click either of these links. Uh, the, this top link goes directly to my Google Drive, or, and the bottom link uh, goes to Mediafire in case you're having trouble with the Google Drive downloading. Um, so you open these up, and you go into there, and then you'll just click this little download guy right here, and that'll begin the download. And It's about nine gigabytes of data uh, so it might take a little bit depending on your internet connection so once you got the client downloaded which I have right here I I already have it so you're gonna want to extract that and you don't want to place it into like your C program files or anything like that because those are that's a write protected directory so it won't save your your settings for your UE setups or your hot buttons or anything like that. You'll have to run as administrator every time. And it's just annoying, trust me. Just put it directly into your C drive or your storage drive or wherever. Just don't put it in program files like, you know, a game normally would be set up. It's just going to cause you a headache. Anyways, so use uh, uh, whatever program it is you have to uh, unzip the the file, of course, uh, I don't know, 7-zip, WinZip, uh, WinRAR, I use WinRAR, I'm old, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, you might require a new uh, JSON file for the patcher uh, to operate correctly, which I've provided a link right here on the website, right in the installation guide, you can find it right here. Just click on that, download that. Uh, I actually have one downloaded. Hold on, let me... Let me open that in a new window. So here it is. Uh, so you'll go into your client. You'll grab your new JSON file and just drop that sucker right in there. Replace the file in the destination. Boom. You're good to go. That's all you had to do there. Okay, so now that you've done that, uh, just create a shortcut of this Imperium patcher right here. It's going to be right above the file you just dropped in. Uh, create a shortcut of that. And then just grab that sucker and throw it right on your desktop for ease of access. It's just easy to find that way. Okay, at this point, uh, you're going to want to head on over to the redists folder. And double click into there and then double click into the DirectX folder. And you're going to want to scroll down until you find this executable right here, dxsetup.exe. And you're going to want to run this. This will ensure that you have DirectX 9 running out of this directory. It's only gonna take a second because it's pretty small. Uh, if it starts running here, we'll we'll find out. <laughs> Can we clear the other things that are in there out of there or does it require those to run? No, those are, yeah, we need those, it's fine. Oh. Don't worry about all that other stuff. Just ignore all that, run this and that's it. And then once that's ran, you're good, cool. 
Okay, now the next part is optional depending on your computer's setup and, and whatever. Uh, this one's up to you. It is the four gigabit patch. It's just right here, right below the folders. Uh, just uh, this will help improve like random crashes and stuff like that. It helped me, it might help you case by case scenario, up to you. Uh, but simple to run, just double click it. It's gonna ask you, yes, you wanna make changes. And then it's gonna open this window and you're just gonna scroll down until you find eqgame.exe, which is way down here in the E's. EQ game, right there. It's the one with the EQ logo on it. So you're just gonna click that and then you're gonna say open. At that point, executable, successfully patched, boom. You are good to go at that point. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, all you have to do now at this point is just double click that shortcut that we created on your desktop. It's gonna automatically patch the game, download any of the files that you might be missing. And boom, launch EverQuest. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Go in, log in with your credentials, click on the Imperium server, log in there, create your character, and you are off to the races, man. <laughs> and that's it. Welcome to Imperium. Uh, yeah, hopefully this video helps you. Please drop a like, subscribe. Um, and that's it. Yeah. We'll see you in game. Happy adventuring.